英语会话 Level Three Power English. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen Cho, and I'm Cameron Word. Thank you for、uh, joining us. We are so happy to have you.、Mm -hmm. uh, just would like to remind everyone that our books for the next month、yes. are out、yeah. at your local bookstore,、mm -hmm. and、um, if you want a free copy of the book. If it's your first time ever, then DM me. Follow me. DM me on my Instagram at the Kristen Cho K R I S T E N C H O, and request a book. Last month,、mm -hmm. it was like explosive. Like、really? it was sold out <gasps> in like two days. Oh my goodness! And I have like forty copies. <gasps> it was gone. Wow! So many people wanted a so book. So many people, and we have you know surprisingly a lot of new listeners. Really, all the time. <gasps> well, Very exciting. So now、mm. that you've made that announcement, yeah, everyone, if you want a free book, go quickly. Go quickly, or it's gonna run out. Yeah. Okay.、Uh -huh. Okay.、Uh, we are going to the dentist in years. Our first visit to the dentist in years. Today is not your lucky day. Oh no, Cameron. Yes. Today is not your lucky day.、Mm -hmm. You could say, "Oh, it's an unlucky day." Yes. But why would you say it in the negative? Today is not your lucky day. Like today is not a good day. Yeah. Native speakers use this sort of kind of structure. Why? We yeah we often flip it and say the negative,、mm -hmm. the opposite,、mm -hmm. uh, as a way to emphasize. Mm -hmm. So you could say today is a bad luck day,、mm -hmm. but it just feels more intense, stronger.、Mm -hmm. Say today is、yeah. not your lucky day. Right? Oh, it's really bad today. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's、yeah. really bad. So it's actually saying the opposite. Yeah. So、uh -huh. for example, if I don't know if you you're feeling bad, you ate some bad food.、Mm -hmm. You say, "Oh, I feel bad,"、mm -hmm. versus "I don't feel good."、Mm. I don't feel good. Feel、mm. stronger. Right. Right. It's、mm -hmm. more emphasis, like. No, this is this is bad. This is bad, it's really bad. bad. Yeah. Okay. Here are some other phrases that we're going to learn for someone's own good. So if I say it's for your own good, what am I saying? You're saying it's for their benefit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, someone's lucky day means wow, this is a pretty good time for you. Uh huh. You get you're getting a lot of lucky stuff today. Okay. And how about last resort? This is like the final thing you can do. Okay. All the other things you've tried have failed.、Mm -hmm. This is the last thing you are going to try. Okay. So let's go ahead and listen to today's dialogue. I'm sorry, Doctor Nick. I panicked. I'll stay as long as you need me to. Anything I do here is for your own good. I understand. I'm just scared of needles and. Having my teeth drilled. Well, today is not your lucky day then, because you need a root canal. Are there any other options? Maybe just a filling instead. I'm sorry, Angela, but a root canal is the best option. As a last resort, I'll have to extract the tooth. Okay, here we go. Angela says, "I'm sorry, Doctor Nick. I panicked. I'll stay as long as you need me to."、Mm. Okay. So remember last dialogue, she was ready to get out of there. Yeah. And then he said, "We're not out of the woods yet. We're not safe yet." Goodness. Okay. And then, okay, she's like, "Okay, I'll stay." Doctor Nick says, "What?" Anything I do here is for your own good. Okay. Anything I do here is for your own good. So, what is Doctor Nick really saying? He's saying everything I'm doing is for your benefit. Yes. So this for your own good、mm -hmm. means for your benefit, but it's often used for things that are unpleasant to do, things、mm. you don't want to do,、mm -hmm. and you're basically saying, "Hey,、mm. I know you don't want to do this,、yeah. but." It's good for you to do this. I see. You need to do this. Uh huh. Got it. So,、uh, and this is usually said from people who are maybe your parents. Yeah. Maybe your boss. Maybe、yeah. possibly a doctor. Yeah. Right. Okay. Someone with authority. Yeah. Someone with a. It's for your own good.、Mm -hmm. It's like you may not think so. Yeah. But I'm doing this for you. 
I know better than you. Yeah, right, right. So do it even though you don't want to. That's right. Mm. Okay. Angela says, I understand. I'm just scared of needles and having my teeth drilled. Oh, those things? <laughs> those small things, needles oh, and my gosh. a drill in your mouth. Ugh. Why would you be scared of that? Oh, dear. Uh. I, I tell you, I tell you, my son recently went to the dentist. Uh -huh. He was like, I'm not going there. And uh, he got three or four cavities filled. Oh, no. Yeah. Ugh. I hate and he it. was, yeah. But, you know, I said to him, it's for your own good. Yeah. The, the more you delay, mm. the more painful it's going to be. Yeah. Right? Right? So okay. True. For me, more than the pain, it's oh. always the smell. Oh. The smell of the dentist. That smell. Of like your teeth burning. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of my teeth oh my burning is so gross. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. What does um, Angela say? I understand. Or Dr. Nick. Yeah. Dr. Mm -hmm. Nick then says, well, today is not your lucky day then because you need a root canal. Oh, okay. Today is not your lucky day. Mm. Okay. Today is your lucky day. So first of all, a lucky day, I think we can figure out what this means. Yeah. It's your lucky day. But what does it really mean? Does it mean anything different from, wow, you're lucky today? Right. Usually with it's your lucky day mm -hmm. is used whenever they've like just won a prize. Mm -hmm. Like you just win the jackpot. Why? It's your lucky day. You won the, the grand prize. Yeah. However, mm. you can also use it in the negative. It's not your lucky day. Yeah. <laughs> it's often whenever you're like, I am very sorry. Yeah, today is yeah, not your, not lucky, your lucky day. day. Yeah. We're going to have to do something you don't want to do. That's it. Mm. That's it. So when you see something in the negative, today is, a is not a good day. It's not a good time. Mm -hmm. It's really saying it's a very bad time. Yeah. It's the opposite. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, you need a root canal. Yeah. R O O T C A N A L. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Shingyong chido. Yeah. Yeah. So they're actually taking the the nerve, the shingyong, yeah. mm. out of your gums, right? Right. Yeah. Let's pull it out. Yeah. Have you had root canals? No. <gasps> Lucky you. Is You've it? Are root canals that are that common? They're very common, actually. If you let your cavities go deep, you uh -huh. you have usually get a root canal. Oh. Yeah. I just, uh, I, I thought it, I don't know. I didn't know they were that common. They're pretty common, Cameron. Oh my goodness. You're very lucky. They, uh, I mean, I've mm. had cavities though, mm. yeah. but I guess I've just mm. stopped them before they Ooh, needed a root you canal. You've got strong teeth. Knock on wood. I haven't yeah. been to the dentist in like three years at this point. Okay. You need to go. I need to go. <laughs> you need to go. Yeah. Because your dentist may say today is not your lucky day. Oh. Okay. Angela says, are there any other options? Maybe just a filling instead. Okay. So she's saying filling is the word that we use use um to fill a cavity yes right they drill it out and then they fill it right mm -hmm. so a filling is for a cavity yes okay what does dr dick say i'm sorry angela but a root canal is the best option as a last resort i'll have to extract the tooth okay i'm sorry but <laughs> so common it's a very common pattern i'm sorry but i'm sorry but it's often used whenever you're refusing someone's request, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Angela's saying, can I just get a feeling? Uh, and she goes, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, but... I'm sorry, but... Mm, that's it. Okay. I can't do this. That's right. Mm. A root canal is the best option. As a last resort, I'll have to extract the tooth. Mm. <gasps> okay, so root canal is the best option, is the best thing that I can do, but... As a last resort, we will have to take out the tooth. Yes. That's how bad it is. Yeah. So if something is a last resort, R-E-S-O-R-T. Now, a lot of our listeners, Dijote. Yeah. Yeah, hotel resort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not that kind of resort. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So resort means something you turn to to fix a problem. Mm -hmm. So if it's the last resort, it means it's your last option. You've mm -hmm. tried to do everything else. Yeah. And because nothing else works, you're doing this thing. But it's often the thing you do not want to do. Mm -hmm. You're doing it as a last resort, meaning only if I have to, I will 
do this. Yeah. So it's your very, very, very last option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Because you have absolutely no other choice. Right. Okay. Extract means to pull. It's a fancy way of saying pulling out the tooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And use extract for a lot of medical things mm. where you're taking something out of the body. Yeah. So you can extract a mm. bullet. Mm -hmm. Let's say you got shot. Yeah. And you have a bullet in your arm. Mm hmm. They would extract the bullet. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to extract any teeth, Cameron, which means that you might have to go to the dentist. Yeah. Yeah. But I brush and floss. I know, but still, you never know. <laughs> okay. Let's listen to that dialogue one more time. I'm sorry, Dr. Nick. I panicked. I'll stay as long as you need me to. Anything I do here is for your own good. I understand. I'm just scared of needles and... Having my teeth drilled. Well, today is not your lucky day, then, because you need a root canal. Are there any other options? Maybe just a filling instead? I'm sorry, Angela, but a root canal is the best option. As a last resort, I'll have to extract the tooth. It's time for Power Note. We're on pages 136 and 37. Okay, so if something is for your own good, mm -hmm. it means it's for your benefit. Even though you don't like it, yeah. it's good for you. Mm -hmm. the, the, you will benefit from this. Yes. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Okay, why can't I stay up late? It's for your own good. You'll thank me when you're older. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You grow when you're sleeping. So it's very true. Don't stay up late if you're mm -hmm. you're growing. Yeah, it's yeah. very true. Mm -hmm. I know this medicine tastes bad, but it's for your own good. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, kids, you're fighting with them all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. I don't want to eat this. Nah, nah, nah. But you know, like parents always have to say, it's for your own good. But do they know that? No. They don't know that. No. They don't understand they it. They don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you have to say it. Yeah. And sometimes it, it's really something that uh, it's unpleasant, but they're yes. going to have to do. Do or not do. Yeah. Mom, dad, mm -hmm. I want to go to the concert. Yeah. And I'm going to be gone for three days. <laughs> no. <laughs> three days with my friends. No. Yeah. <laughs> for your own good. Right. Uh -huh. For your own good. Let's give another example of for your own good. So I don't like to exercise. Oh. Let's be honest. I know. Who does? People do. Some people do. Well, that's That's true. the thing. I know. Like, I have a friend. He's like, if I don't go to the gym, uh -huh. I just I just feel unhappy. Yeah. But I feel happy when I'm in the gym. He doesn't <laughs> talk like that. That's not his voice. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, you have to do things like yeah. go, eating well yeah. and exercising. Yeah. Even if it's unpleasant because it's for your own good. Yeah. Listen, I don't want to cook all the time. mm but it's for my own good. And it's for my son's own good. Yeah. You know? I Maybe. mean, it's like they're just things that you have to do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to stretch. I want to just go right into bed. Yeah. But I stretch every night. Yeah. I would just like... It's for my own good. Lay in bed. I'm telling you. And rot. Yeah. <laughs> nothing someone uh, a nurse would have to come in and turn uh, me over my goodness so, yeah yeah, yeah. I'll tell you okay someone's <laughs> lucky day it's your lucky day uh, we, which means that wow like this is a, a really good moment for you mm -hmm. wow you won six games of blackjack in a row yeah it must be my lucky day yeah in this case truly Luck is on your side. Totally, yeah. It's your lucky day. I'm taking you to the beach. Ah. Mm. So this is mm. a common way of using this phrase uh -huh. whenever you're going to do something good for somebody else. Right. Kind of as like a surprise. Yeah. It's your lucky day. I got you an extra large coffee with an extra shot of espresso and an extra pump of vanilla syrup. <laughs> Okay, that's a very lucky day. Yeah. So often native speakers use this to tell the other person, like, I'm doing this for you mm -hmm. and it's going to make you happy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's your lucky day. Uh, you get, you know, um, I'm, I got you two free tickets to the amusement park. Wow. Yeah, you can take a friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or it could be the opposite. Mm -hmm. Like maybe you're at work and yeah. like... Wow, another client canceled their contract today? <gasps> it is not your lucky day. It is not. 
That is three customers you lost. Oh no! Your commission is going to be in the toilet. Oh no! <laughs> it is not your lucky it's day. It's not your lucky day. Yeah. So when we use that in the negative, it means that it is a very, very unlucky day. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, last resort. This means that. You tried everything, it didn't work out. It failed. It's your last choice. This is your last choice. Your okay. last option. You don't want to use this option, uh-huh. but you got to. Okay. Did you get the scholarship you applied for? No. So as a last resort, I'm going to ask my rich uncle to pay for school. Good. <laughs> for you. I don't, you know, I couldn't. Well, maybe your rich uncle is very generous and he loves you like a son. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Lucky you. I know. If I can't get a ride to the airport, I'll take a taxi as a last resort. Mm, so if a friend can't take you, yeah. just take a taxi. Yeah. Mm. I mean, doesn't everybody, a lot of people take taxis or limousine buses. Right, yeah. yeah. I think in the, if you're going to take the, the Incheon uh, Airport, uh-huh. it is in a weird place. It is. If, you're, if you live in Seoul. Mm-hmm. There's also the, if you live in a, like near Seoul Station, yeah. I guess the train... Well, I used to live in Samsungdong, uh-huh. and I used to always take the airport terminal, mm. um, the the city airport. That was fantastic. Yeah, because you just go right over there and check in your bags and do everything, and all you gotta do is just take that bus. Mm-hmm. That's great. But when you have a very early morning flight, I think the best thing to do is to take a taxi sometimes because of of all the luggage. So expensive. It is. It is. <sighs> Okay, so I'm sorry, but. Yes. So this is used whenever you're often when you're rejecting something, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you've requ- someone has requested something and you're saying, can't. Mm. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the kitchen isn't taking any more orders. Mm. We're talking about not your home kitchen, but a restaurant kitchen. Right. Or mm. my mom would say this. <laughs> mom, I'm hungry. Can I have a sandwich? I'm sorry, but the kitchen isn't taking any more orders. You know what I say? What? I say the kitchen is closed. Kitchen is closed. I, I tell my son, 10 o'clock, I'm hungry. I'm sorry, the kitchen is closed. I'm not going into mm. that kitchen. Mm-mm. Make it yourself. That's it. I'm sorry, but your credit card has expired. Or I'm sorry, but your credit card has isn't de- going through. Isn't going through. Oof. Has been declined. Has been declined. Oof. Cold talk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a nightmare. All right. Power of vocab, root canal, very important word, 신경치료. Mm-hmm. All right. Do check that, uh, the definition on page 138 and stop by audio 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 uh, for a very small monthly fee. You can listen to this over and over and over again. Yes, yes. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You're such a motivator